It's old Rock and Randy here with one question. Why do we burn all that energy fighting for our small piece of turf when it is all our turf? Can you dig it? Just kidding. Do you guys see the Warriors? If you haven't, you're welcome. You have to because it's going to make you a better American. All right, let's get right down to it after my comic relief. It's time for Premier Pro Wrestling 411th taping results. That first matchup was the dreaded man from Tokyo, Japan, 0-1, wrestling the American beard in singles competition. And here's what happened at the finish of that one. The beer is going to the top rope. And I don't blame him. After all that weight loss, he's able to. He turned a lot of uh, fat into muscle, so to speak. He's on the top rope, and he's perched up there really nicely. Look at that. Oh, come on. Come on. He hit him in the throat. He hit him in the throat. A double thrust to the throat. It's, oh. It's a judgment call. It happened so quick, but you can tell by his body language, he hit him in the throat with that double thrust and a cover. One, two, three. How about that? I told you. <sighs> Wait a minute. El Guerrero, Jose Acosta, the PPW heavyweight champion is here. Jose, what's up? Usually you're home by now. What are you here for? You know, I, I'm not quite sure that I like the way I ended this past Saturday night. Yeah, you know, it was questionable. I'm not going to say you weren't a class act, but teetering on it? It certainly surprised the shit out of me. You know, some say first and foremost, I want to apologize for the way I acted this past Saturday night. I don't know what got into me. There's been a lot of frustrations in life. There's been a lot of frustrations here in PPW for me, uh, the heat of the moment, uh, two back-to-back -back wars with you in uh, consecutive weeks, uh, my temper just got the best of me. You asked for another rematch? You want to make this? Uh, no questions asked who the better man is? You got it. This Saturday night, PPW mm. 412 in Woodstock, if it's all right with you, Randy, it is all right with me I would like to go ahead, reverse brother. my decision of not giving you a rematch sensei and i will see you this saturday night two out of three falls if it's that's right a class you. act that's what i'm talking about thanks for stopping by jose thanks. seriously again that's how a man handles his business now on to the results the result titles premier pro wrestling 411 dude i can't tell you i am jacked about that that match is going to be up on our youtube channel later this week and the first pairing between those two is up on our Patreon, Premier Pro Wrestling Patreon, and that match was from Intemperance. Match number two at PPW 411 featured a young up-and-comer with a lot of heart and some decent size and a look to him. Jake Hazard stepped up, accepted a challenge from the Aztec Monster Humek, and here is just a little bit of what happened in the closing minutes of that matchup. Woo! Oh God. Oh, no way he's getting up from that, but he is getting up from that. He used the ropes to get up from that. Who man can't believe it? This guy can take it. Jake Hazard is asking for more. Oh, he caught him in the solar plexus. He caught him in the solar plexus. Oh, big old clothesline. Follow up, kid. Stay on him. Stay on him, Papa. Stay on him. Oh, he's still. Oh, he got him on the slam, but he hurt himself. The place came unglued. He finally got the slam. He's got to go for the cover. But the man was too close to the ropes. Too close to the ropes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holy crap, they're not stopping. They're not stopping. Lulu's going to get hurt. Lulu's going to get hurt out there. This match is determined 
a 10 minute time limit draw. Time limit draw. As you can see, the score is not settled. One man did not pin the other man, but one thing I do know for sure, I don't think I've ever seen Humac that nervous before. One hell of a match off, my head is off to you, Jake Hazard. Match number three, after a few injuries, we had to change up a few things on the card, we actually came up with something better. Current Challenge Pro Champion and King of the Iron Man, badass Brandon Campbell, faced off in a triple threat rules over the top rope elimination matchup, King of the Iron Man challenge pro style when he accepted the challenge of Marcus the Science Smith and an ever evolving rock star Rosie. And here's a highlighter two from that one. Sleep on him. He's got that Burmese sleeper on Marcus the Carcass is going. He's going, he's going, oh! He got claymored by Brandon Campbell. He got claymored by Brandon Campbell. Oh, wait a minute, he's got a handful of tights. Oh! The first ball, Marcus the Science Smith. Oh, how innovative is that? Uh oh Oh, what a sidewalk slap. Oh, and an uppercut to keep Adam occupied. One, two, three. With 16 minutes gone, we finally seen some finishes in this matchup. Marcus the Science Smith used all his strength. To, and there's a sleeper again. Adam's got it hooked on the Burmese sleeper. Brandon can't get in there. He's going out one uh, hand drop once. That's twice one more, and it's a finish. That's it. The score is tied at one apiece. Oh. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. That being said, as you can see, Rosie really, really upped his game that night and he was on Brandon's heels every step of the way. But I've got to say, if he wasn't focused on losing his hair the week before at Intemperance, by the way, which again is available on Patreon, he might have defeated Brandon Campbell or at least wrestled him to a draw. We'll see what happens there, and let's see what happens and how safe Marcus the Science Smith is in the coming weeks when we hit you up the first week of August with PPW's Do or Die. And then, and it's something to behold, it's going to be on YouTube this week for free. Jay Leon stepped up and took the biggest challenge of his life to date against Psycho Spawn, the man from Parts Unknown, and had Psycho Spawn reeling for the first time. And you tell me, go ahead and comment below when you see the match, you tell me if Psycho Spawn did not act in a desperate manner against the Greenhorn Jay Leon. Jay's going to the top rope. I don't know, I think it's the first time in his career, but I know he can do it because I've seen him do it in camp. I can't wait to see the crossbody. But wait, the big man rolls through and he brings the 200 pound and change kid with him. Oh, Shiza. Oh, oh, the fall away. Rolls him away from the ropes, but he's using the ropes. For, the referee doesn't see it. No. Oh. Then at the end of the night, I can't say enough about this match. Uh, unbelievable matchup. If you're a wrestling fan and you are in touch on social media with any of the people in attendance that night, Jose Acosta versus Semsei, two out of three falls for the PPW Heavyweight Championship. Again, Jose technically did Semsei a favor by giving him an unscheduled number one contenders match for the belt. 
And man, oh man, I don't have the words to describe it. So whoever edits this, when you do, just let it play out. Let the fans that are watching at home and watching on YouTube try to connect and get the feels with that one. Woo! Whoever wins this last and deciding fall has earned it. And a cover. One, two. But he was too tired to hook the leg. As a result, I'm able to kick up and lift that left shoulder just in the nick of time. 2.99.9. And look at this tooth. I think Jose lost the tooth. A kick by Sam. Go for that axe kick, Jose. Oh, no. 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 Uh, a German. A beautiful German suplex. We got two. God, oh my God, what happened? Here, you, you're gonna have to listen to me. Now wait just a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Justin McKay says it's Sem shoulders because he counted Jose. Jose, Ian is saying that, oh crap. I told you this thing was getting hot before this happened. Now what the hell are we gonna do? Listen, I'm going to turn the microphone out. Hope it can pick up. I'm gonna go see what happened. I'm gonna have to try to help make a decision. and in clear conscience after this war these guys just had I can't add another fall to it however however if the champ wants to give some say another shot that's up to him Jose, but see, this week wasn't supposed to happen. Jose is not bound to wrestle defendants until the first week of August at PPW Do or Die. Sam extending the hand. He wants it. Oh! 
Did I tell you or did I tell you? Okay, folks, this week, PPW 412 taping. If you're in the area, we are north side of Chicago Land in Woodstock, 1230 Davis Street. A lot of matches. Keep checking back on our Facebook for more details. Again, don't forget, support us on Patreon. You get the Rancast every week, our podcast, with myself and a well-traveled Casey James, and also help us to not take our relationship with pro wrestling tees for granted. That's the only place you can get official Premier Pro Wrestling merchandise, and that is Premier Pro Wrestling on Pro Wrestling Tees. Thanks again for all your support.